you're a firework. Come on, let your colors burst. Make them go oh, oh, oh. As you shoot across the sky. I, I, I am unwritten. Can't read my mind. I'm undefined. I'm just beginning. The pins in my hand. Ending unplanned. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind, wanting to start again? Do you ever feel feel so paper thin, like a house of cards, one blow from caving in? Do you ever feel? Yourself in words unspoken. Live your life with arms wide open. Today is where your book begins. You just gotta ignite the light. And let me the words that you cannot find. Reaching for something in the distance. So close you can almost taste it. Release your inhibitions. Cause baby. Dr. Deborah Sim, the principal of Caris International School. I'd like to tell you a little about our school curriculum. We are a registered Cambridge International School offering educational programs from K1 to Year 11. Caris International Kindergarten caters for students aged 4 to 5 years old. In a loving and supportive environment, children begin learning the building blocks of knowledge in life. Children who are individually guided through a holistic development program will readily establish their paths as independent and lifelong learners. Our kindergarten offers a safe and secure home away from home for your child. 
qualified, experienced, and caring teachers provide a stimulating learning environment that engages each child at their individual level of maturity and ability. Cambridge primary curriculum is divided into two key stages. Key stage one is for two years and is an introduction to the English national curriculum, developing skills, knowledge and understanding that can be built upon in key stage two, which covers the next four years. Children will make significant academic, personal and social development during this time and become more independent, grow in self-confidence and show a greater awareness of the world around them. Co-curriculum activities include singing, dance, cooking, storytelling, various sports and outdoor activities. This year, we also introduced the Little Professor Club for those wanting more intellectual challenge and also to have a feel of what it's like to be a professor. Cambridge Secondary School curriculum is also divided into two key stages. Key Stage 3 covers Year 7 to Year 9 uh, for students in the age range of 12 to 14 years old. Students transit into a new phase of education and life. They begin to be independent and self-aware. They start to analyse themselves, who they are, how they fit in and what they want to be. Oh
Hope you choose the one that means the most to you Hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance And if it's cold outside, show the world the warmth of your smile more than anything, more than anything, I hope you dance, I hope you dance, I can almost see it, that dream I'm dreaming, there's a voice inside my head saying, you'll never reach it, but I, I gotta keep trying, gotta keep my head held high, my wish for you is that the To break in my hands are tied. Good, Good evening, everyone. everyone. Welcome to the Karas International School virtual closing and awarding ceremony. Let me introduce to you the Board of Governors, the Principal, the Department Heads, and Teachers of Karas International School.
show your respect to our country by singing our national anthem and this will be followed by our state anthem and our school song. This school year has been a tumultuous year for all of us, but by God's grace, we were able to hurdle all the challenges that came our way. It wasn't easy, but it was challenging and exciting all the same. Now, let us take a trip down memory lane and revisit some of our experiences during this strenuous school year.
I also mentioned about this turning challenges into opportunities. And we are one of the few schools who have done this successfully. Congratulations. If I do, I know I'll give it. 
please welcome the Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. Radhahat Krishnan, to deliver his commencement speech. Good evening, Reverend Tae Yong Huat, Board of Directors of Caris International School, Professor Deborah Sim, Principal of Caris International School, teachers, staff, graduates, and students of Caris International School, parents, friends, and relatives. Good evening, and thank you for inviting me to say a few words. Without a doubt, the last one year has been very challenging and will continue to be so, to say the least. To the graduating students who have persevered and reached this milestone of your education, I say Shabbas. Congratulations. Similarly, to all the students, perseverance in spite and despite the challenging circumstances like the pandemic and others to come, striving for your goal, that is, striving forward, is a mark of a successful individual. The same applies to organizations, societies, and nations. In our school anthem, we sing we are world changers. To be world changers, we have to be strong, smart, adaptable, interactive, and innovative. That is, bringing forward new ideas, changes, concepts, and be able to persevere. To help me accomplish all this, here at Caris International School, we have a very dedicated, highly qualified, innovative team of teachers and staff to assist you. My heartfelt thanks to all the academic staff and the support team. And to complement them, this team, we have the parents who have been most cooperative. Your role is also very important in the success of your children and the school. So a big thank you for your support. This, my friends, is the new normal, where we adapt, adopt new strategies, transcend, and move on. I'm made to understand that in spite of the restrictions, the school has managed to organize various activities besides your academic requirements. The Leadernomics Club, where a group of students have attended the Johor e-convention. Congratulations. A sports event, a virtual event. A successful open day, another virtual event. Chinese department with poems, drawing competition, Chinese dress and cultural events. The Interact Club dancing competition, wow, together with the Rotary Club of Kota Kinabalu. And of course, not forgetting your trial classes. We also managed to organize internship for our graduating students, but unfortunately, because of the MCO, this had to be postponed. You see, this is adapting, innovating, thinking outside the box. This is teaching you to be a world changer. On that note, let me congratulate you once again, the graduate graduating students. In kindergarten, we have seven students. Year six, we have seven students. Year 11, we got four students. Thank you, and God bless you all. To deliver her speech of inspiration, please welcome our school principal, Dr. Deborah Sim C. Moon. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Good evening. Mr. Radaha, Chairman of the Board of Governors, Reverend Tay, and the other members of the Board of Governors who may be present at the stage, fellow colleagues, 
teachers, our dedicated parents, diligent students, and our dear friends and relatives far and near. Thank you for gracing this occasion, for making the effort to attend our school's 2021 closing ceremony. And this is the first time we conducted it, we're conducting it on a virtual platform. This may be a blessing in disguise as we learn to turn challenges into opportunities and reach out to even more people throughout the world. For the benefit of those who may not know our school, um, let me just briefly introduce. Our school is located in Tawau, a, a small coastal town in the southeast part of Sabah or North Borneo. The school is housed in an 11-story building known as Calvary Crown Building, situated at a junction between two busy roads, Jalan Chokian Wun and Jalan Bunga Raya. We see our school not as a building, but a community of learners, involving not just students and teachers, but also parents and neighborhood. We interact through each other's at home, on school campus, through Parent Teachers Association, and the field trips or internship program that Mr. Radaha mentioned earlier. And in the coming academic sessions, we're also going to broaden our learning community to include even the global communities through a new Cambridge syllabus known as Global Perspective, which the school hopes to implement this coming September. And I'll talk about this more later on. Now, it's been mentioned by both the, uh, our Master of Ceremonies as well as our school board chairman we are experiencing an unprecedented global disruptions. And our schools, of course, is not exempted by that. From this tiny virus known as SARS-CoV-2, resulted in rapid spreading of a highly contagious, potentially fatal infectious disease known as COVID-19. And so began the, the pandemic, which started in December 2019 in a place called Wuhan and it's now more than one and a half years after that and we are still battling this disease globally and the health authorities all over the world have imposed such things as strict SOPs, lockdown, vaccination programs and have tried many different ways of treating. Still, the battle is not over. And we are fighting an invisible enemy. Here we are, Staba, in the midst of all this. Mr. Radha has mentioned that our aim in our school is to nurture world changes. But the world cannot change unless we know how to change ourselves as well. And to battle that, we also need to have unprecedented local determination. And because of that, I've decided this year to focus on the theme, let us move on. Let us move on. There are many things that have gone, they say, under the water, under the water, but let's move on. So let me start with to the Tawau community, because the people have suffered much. We sympathize with our local community, our neighborhood, where many have lost their jobs, their means of earning an income. Some may have even lost their health or loved ones through this pandemic. And these, of course, including some of our own students, parents as well, who have been affected much by, uh, by the effect on the economic. So the former president of United States of America, Ronald Reagan said, we can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. So to the Tower community, let me say, let us move on and cooperate. And I like to see this video for us to see how that can occur. Thank you. 
Yes, we have heard people said, sharing is caring. It may not be much for each of those children in that class to give a little bit of their lunch to this boy, but it means a lot to him. So if we can also, as a community, share that little bit that we can give to others at such a time like this, we can help everybody pull through this hard time. So for the parents, let us move on. Let us move on and encourage. I know that many parents, especially those with very young children at home and who are holding also a job, they're very stressed out by these unprecedented demands on their daily lives with workplace SOPs, housework, home cooking chores, tapao errands to run, caring for aged, frail parents, taking them to see doctors. And on top of that, having to also coach and tutor your own children at home. Many of them, or some of them who may refuse to attend online classes or do their home-based learning work. Well, learning consists of three domains, the cognitive, the psychomotor, and the effective. The cognitive is to do about the intellectual part, about knowing things. The psychomotive part is to do with the skills, about the ability to do things. But the attribute part is to do with the heart of the being of a person. Now, while we at school, the teachers can help in helping the children to know and to acquire skills, that part we can do pretty well in the school. However, the part that actually helps children to become a person is the part where the parents have greater influence. And we need to work with the parents on this. And so we urge, therefore, the parents to continue to encourage. An encouragement, someone said, is actually a constant yes in a world that says no. Children may be so affected by the negative comments made by friends and sometimes unwittingly by teachers. The parents are the ones who can say, yes, you can do it. Yes, I will be there with you. We can do it together. And we need you, parents, to encourage your children and help us together to build them to become the person that they have been designed to be. For the teachers, it hasn't been easy either. <laughs> teachers are equally frustrated and being, in not being able to see visibly their students during online classes. For many of them, especially the secondary school students, hide behind the camera and mute their mic and then teachers don't know sometimes if they're speaking to the air or into their ears. So it's very hard for us teachers to be able to get feedback from the students in terms of their responses. However, online learning also open up opportunities for some, pe some students who may be more shy to speak in front of a, a big group, and yet they seem to flourish in an online learning platform. And also for some teachers, by using technology, we're able to monitor individual students' progress through various apps like Google Classroom. We can actually look at whether they have submitted their work, when they have submitted the work, we can correct, return to them, we can actually collect those marks very easily with the help of technology because they do it tirelessly. So teacher, we need to move on. <laughs> imagine and reimagine. Now they said that children do not move, think or speak in a straight line. And neither does imagination nor creativity. But sadly, our standardized pathway of education do. And so we must get away from the traditional way of learning or education to become more innovative, more imaginative. Albert Einstein, the famous physicist, said actually that 
Imagination is even more important than knowledge. And why did he say that? Because imagination is what gives us the power to see the things that our eyes cannot see. Imagine that. So when a student hides behind the camera and mute themselves, we have to be even more imaginative to think what they may be doing or not doing in order for us to see how we can overcome that obstacle and help them learn even online. What about the students? Student, we need to move on as well. As you have heard us say, the teachers sometimes are not able to connect with you physically. We cannot read your body language when you switch off your camera. And we cannot give you non-verbal cues by touching or hinting to you so as to guide you what to do. So you therefore also have to take the effort. So let us move on and be engaged. Be engaged. Now, I've said this many times, and I'll say it again. This Professor Peter Doherty, who is a Nobel laureate, said that what you should be doing at the university, and not just university, but also in any other um, academic institution, particularly is to know how to think, to learn how to think, not so much on just what to know, but also how to process that knowledge and to think and resolve problems through using those information or knowledge they have gained. Now, in order for us to do that, we can no longer depend on the traditional one-way uh, passing of transferring of information from the head of the teachers to hopefully the head of the students. It doesn't work this anymore. And in fact, the, t the students can get a lot of this information from the internet without having to get hear it from the mouth of teachers. So we want to get away from that kind of one-way traffic to a more interactive, inquiry-based learning where students are the ones who become the center of learning, by which we mean they become responsible for their own learning. They learn to ask questions, ask good questions. They learn to talk to each other and find out the answers among themselves instead of always looking to the teacher for the model answers. I really dread going to uh, bookshops and see many, many copies of model answers of past year's questions that really kill the imagination of our students. They get to the point where they think that their own answers are not good enough. Only those printed answers in the book or their, uh, their teacher's answers are good. But that's not so. And I've been trying to show to my classes, the students, I take their, quest, their answers, maybe imperfect, and help them change it to be a more complete answer. It may still not be a model answer, but at least it's your answer. It is not my answer to the questions. And that brings me to this topic, uh, the new syllabus that we are hoping to introduce in our school in this coming academic year. Cambridge Global Perspectives is a unique transformational program. It is a skill-based program. In other words, it doesn't have a particular content. It is not maths, it's not science, it's not English, it's not social study, it's not arts or music. It is a skill-based and yet the uh, learning is in the context of a real-world problems, real-world issues. So the students have to find something which has happened currently so that they may be able to tackle that, whether it's a COVID-19 pandemic problem, whether it's a poverty problem, whether it's to do with pollution, or whether it's to do with undocumented children's problem in their local uh, community. And from that, students have to develop a personal opinion. So it's important for you to have your own opinions, and that is valuable, that is being valued. 
And then you need to go and find out the local community, the people around you, what do they think about that issues? And, and then after that, you have to think of what does the world think about this issue? There are so many countries, so many continents, so many ethnic groups in the world. What do they think about the same problem of plastic pollution in this place here? Now, this program has got six transferable skills. As I said, they don't focus on a particular subject. So they're cross-curricular, interdisciplined, and they can be used and applied in any of those subjects. It takes place at four levels from primary, so primary global perspectives, to second, lower secondary global perspective, and then to IGCSE or O level global perspectives. And they take you even further to the advanced level or the pre-university level. If you are able to achieve up to the A level, you are well prepared for the university study. You can be you can beat anyone when you get into university. You can do, in fact, any program or any course with the skill that you have acquired through global perspectives. So we're hoping to introduce, um, we're not too ambitious, but we'll start with the Cambridge Primary Global Perspectives in the coming years. We're going to implement it in all the six years of our primary curriculum. Now, you notice that the first three sets of skills research, analysis, and evaluations. They are skills that are particularly useful for helping students to tackle problems because they teach you how to ask good questions. They teach you how to break down a problem into small bits so that you can actually understand them. It teaches you how to see patterns and how to see the trend in things so that you'll be able to evaluate and see which one gives a better solution among the solutions that you've come up with uh, within your group. And the next three sets of skills, reflections, collaborations, and communications, are the set of skills that are useful for helping you to deal with people. Because through reflection, you understand about yourself, how you think, and how your thinking affects other people, and how other people's opinions affect you, and how you learn things together. Collaboration is how you work as a team. What did you have to do in order for you to succeed working together? Not just each person doing different things, actually. That is not collaboration. It's actually putting your heads together to decide for yourself how to do the things together. And then after that, you need to know how to communicate what you have found to other people in different ways, whether it's verbally, whether it's through slides, whether it's through poster, whether it's through uh, multimedia. These are the various ways that you have to learn to communicate. And it is said that in any career that you're going to face, these are the two common problems, uh, two common things that you will face, problems and people. And if you have the skills to deal with problems and people, you will succeed in any career. So let me end by reiterating this. We must move on. Let us move on. COVID-19 disease may disrupt. Carries International School will construct. We will help to construct what is broken down, what is disrupted by the disease pandemic. The pandemic may be here to stay another half a year another one year two years or maybe more it may be like the seasonal flu that will come year after year and we cannot wait the academic will not sway or stray from the goal that we have in helping the next generations to develop the knowledge the skill and the attitude to be able to face tomorrow's world. Vaccines may come and go, and at this moment, there are umpteen numbers of vaccines, and some of them are still being developed. And yet, we must know that they cannot guarantee protections 100%. So our vocations and our lessons will continue to grow, whatever happens. Virus variants 
may go on to mutate. And it's said that it is normal for virus to mutate 100 times, 1,000 times. It's very normal. But some of these mutate, mutants are highly lethal and uh, uh, contagious. And we have to be careful with that. And yet, to be even more so, we have to be resilient. So our resilience, we will surely state at this moment and not give in to the mutant threat. So yes, we will move on. We will go forward and we will look upwards and never backwards. So ladies and gentlemen, friends, let us move on. I thank you for your attention and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Good evening. This year, our school has launched a music class in our primary department. Our students have enjoyed this immensely. And now we are going to witness our year one, two, three, and four students in their very special singing performance. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are at the birthday world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I got the ticket for the long way down. To go is give all the way. I sure like some company, some sweet company, and I even tomorrow what do you say when I'm gone? When I'm gone, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair. You're gonna miss me everywhere now. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. When I'm gone. When I'm gone. When I'm gone. I'm a talk, oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coconut, coconut, coconut. Coconut nut is a giant nut. If we eat too much, you get very fat. Now, the coconut nut is a big, big nut, but it's a delicious nut. Please stay at 
at home, study work from home. Now the coronavirus probably to Earth. Please wash your hands and social distance. It's COVID-19. It's COVID-19. All the corona. All the corona. From the corona family. It's COVID-19. It's COVID-19. From the corona. From the corona. From the corona family. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to present to you the graduates of Paris International Kindergarten for the school year 2020-2021. Paris Kindergarten graduates Aryan Shah Bin Warno, Ethan Yuan Kuni. Chen Hao Bin Derek Lin Zeli Erlita Arshifa Gaisani Faisal Jotam Pang Kim Chin and Kishan Davian Thomas Our kindy students have been working really hard this year, so tonight we will all recognize their hard work as they receive their special awards. Isra Yo for most helpful student in class. Evan Tian for being a super reader. Frederick Chong, most progressive student in class. Hajia Karana, most cheerful in class. Junior Chin, who was awarded excellence in mathematics. Raina Kaur, most progressive student in class. Victor Tang, for excellence in reading. Afan Yuan, for being the most progressive student in class. Ayansha Bin Warno for being an amazing artist. Chen Hao Bin for excellence in reading. 
Erlita Faisal for having the best handwriting in class. Jo Kam Pan for excellence in science. Kishern Davian Thomas for being the most creative thinker in class. Derek Lim for his extraordinary effort. This year, our school has launched a music class. I have the great honor to present to you the Year 6 graduates of Paris International School for the school year 2020-2021. Amirul Adham bin Amiruddin Andrian Junior Lachika Johannes Constance Chao Zishuan Ethan Wong Weiji Farzad Ahmed Nicole Dylan Niki Hanus Yasmin Claire Chu Shuni Good evening to the school board members of the principal, Dr. Debra Sim, senior assistant, Mr. Kevin Chai, teacher, parents, honored guests, and fellow students. My name is Farza. My name is Nicole. And my name is Ethan. We are the representatives of this year's Year 6 graduates. Despite the tumultuous online, on-site, online, on-site chaos, COVID could not break us. It only made us stronger. We met, all of us managed to pass our checkpoint exam and graduate. As we leave our premiers behind, we would like to thank some people who have helped bring us to this point. First, we would like to thank our parents who tirelessly chauffeured us to and from school, tuition classes and school activities. Next, we would like to give special thanks to Mr. Henra, who has been teaching us every year since year one. Mr. Henra is very good at presenting PowerPoint and YouTube lessons, which is especially helpful for the weaker students. He patiently taught us until we understand the topic. We would also like to thank our teachers, Miss Vivian, Miss Vanessa, and Miss Florence, for helping us in attaining good results in our checkpoint. To all teachers in Paris, we would like to thank you for guiding and shaping us to who we are today. Lastly, I would like to thank for my sponsor for the opportunity to study at Caris. I joined Caris in year 6, which means I had to sit for checkpoint exams. In checkpoints, we had to write one story in 35 minutes. For me, one story 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. a whole day, only one essay. Doing checkpoint.
was impossible. But I had extra full day. One to one sessions, I improved in vocabulary, grammar, and time management. Allow me to complete essay before the time limit. Never, ever, ever give up. In our primary school years, we have gained friendship from classmates, obtained love and guidance, braved and overcome challenges. These memories, pandemic cannot take away from us. These priceless lessons are powerful tools that will help us in the future. We are grateful to all who are present to cheer us on from the screens of devices. We wish you health and strength as we wait for our world to get back to normal. May, May God, God bless you all and I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. I've got no roots. I've got no roots. I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. I've got no roots. I've got no roots. There's a story waiting to be told Waiting for all of us whether we were young or old The story is in there if you take a look Go ahead and open up the pages of a book If you ask me, I will wait with you Don't underestimate the things that book can do There's a story Waiting to be told Waiting for all of us Whether we were young or old Stories inside Can you open your mind They got me wishing Now that I could them all The stories inside Can take you for a ride I can't help feeling that You can add it all oh. If you love to read the story that you stand the page, you can find it in a book. You can have it all. Oh, if you love to read the story that you stand the page, you can find it. And these are our awardees in the primary department. In Primary 1, Young Kurt, Cheerful Obedience in Completing Assignments. In Primary 1, 
Rihanna Siud, Outstanding Academic Achievement in English as a Second Language, Mathematics, Science, Computing and Social Studies. In Year 2, Natalie Tan T. Lok, Outstanding Academic Achievement in English as a Second Language, Mathematics, Science, Computing and Social Studies. In Primary 2, Aish Fakrula, Most Progressive Student in Social Studies and Most Enthusiastic Learner. In Primary 2, Putri Aliyah Eliana Binti Abdullah, as Athlete of the Year. In Primary 3, Farid Sulaman Ferdhaus Salim, Most Progressive Student in Year 3. In Year 3, Isabel Wong Pei Yao, Outstanding Performance in Music and Arts. In Primary 3, Jaden Chiu, Model Student in Primary, Outstanding Academic Achievement in English as a Second Language, Mathematics, Science, Computing and Social Studies. He was also top achiever in Computing in Lower Primary. In Primary 3, Maria Marshana Salazar, Model Student in Primary Department. Also in Primary 3, Shannon Rose Gillick. She was Model Student in Primary, Outstanding Academic Achievement in English as a Second Language, Mathematics, Science, Computing and Social Studies. She was also Top Achiever in Mathematics and Public Relation Officer of the Student Council. In Primary 3, Kalista Anindya Raisa Faisal, Most Progressive Student in Chinese and Most Enthusiastic Learner in Year 3. Favor Ngu Zi King for his creativity in home assignments. In Primary 3, Nathan Shadi Lo, as most progressive student in Year 3. In Year 4, Jonathan Ku Kai Tong. He was a polite and respectful student. In Primary 4, Jonas Gan Jin Yao. Outstanding Academic Achievement in English as a Second Language, Mathematics, Science, Computing, and Social Studies. Thoughtfulness in Completing Assignments and as Athlete of the Year. In Year 5, Joshua Ronnie Rubin. For Most Progressive Student in English as a Second Language and Malay. He was also Secretary of the Student Council. In Primary 5, Angel Sharvina. She's a model student in primary. Outstanding academic achievement in English as a second language, mathematics, science, computing, and social studies. She's also a top achiever in computing and a most progressive student in Malay. In primary six, Ethan Wong Weiji. Model student in primary. Outstanding achievement in primary checkpoint. He scored all sixes in English as a second language, mathematics and science. He was top achiever in science and social studies and the most progressive student in Chinese. In primary six, Fazad Ahmed. He is a model student in primary six. Outstanding achievement in primary checkpoint. He scored all sixes in English as a second language mathematics and science. Also, outstanding academic achievement in English as a second language, mathematics, science, computing, and social studies. In primary six, Yasmin Claire Chu. She was most progressive student in Chinese, athlete of the year, her thoughtfulness in completing assignments, she was treasurer of the student council, and she had outstanding achievement in primary checkpoint, scoring sixes in English as a second language. In primary six, Constance Chao Z Chuan. Model student in primary, outstanding achievement in primary checkpoint, where she scored sixes in English as a second language and science, and a most enthusiastic learner in year six. 
In year six, Andrian Junior La Chica Johannes. For most progressive student in Malay and most helpful student in year six. In primary six, Amirul Adam bin Amiruddin as Athlete of the Year. In Primary 6, Nicole Bilain Mikihanas, for Most Progressive Student in English as a Second Language.
And here are the awardees for our secondary department. In year seven, Abby Leo IGM as Vice President of the Student Council. In year seven, Su Jia E for Outstanding Student in the Collaborative Learning Program. Also, Best Critical Thinker in Classroom Discussions. In year seven, Lee Tyson as Outstanding Academic Achievement in English as a Second Language, Mathematics, Science, Computing, and Social Studies. Outstanding Student in the Collaborative Learning Program. Outstanding Academic Progress in Chinese and Active Participation in Year 7. In Year 8, Zachary Mark Gillick. Model Student in Lower Secondary. Outstanding Academic Achievement in English as a Second Language, Mathematics, Science, Computing, and Social Studies. Outstanding Academic Progress in English as a Second Language. Outstanding Student in, in the Collaborative Learning Program. And for inspiring leadership and being proactive. Zach was also President of the Student Council. In Year 9, Muhammad Azar bin Maslan is a top achiever in Malay, most progressive student in mathematics, and a committed student to learning. In year nine, we have Fong Jing Kang. Outstanding achievement in lower secondary checkpoint exams, scoring all sixes in English as a second language, mathematics and science. He also had outstanding academic achievement in English as a second language, mathematics, science, computing and social studies. He was also top achiever in computing in lower secondary. An outstanding academic progress in English as a second language and also for his diligence, thinking and speaking critically in the classroom. In year 9, Leona Levy Hugh most progressive student in mathematics, good academic achievement and active participation, and outstanding student in the collaborative learning program. Also in year nine, Amber Tay Sok Yuan, for persistent learner in mathematics. In year 10, Tam Nyap Yit, for his good academic progress in combined sciences. Also in year 10, Tan E. Hood, for his thinking and speaking critically in the classroom and for being insightful and tech savvy. In year 10, Evelyn Chang Lin as the most progressive student in mathematics and combined sciences for the year 10 comers and also for being goal oriented and tenacious. In year 10, Lee Hershey for her outstanding academic progress in English as a second language and for thinking and writing creatively. In year 10, Fong Jing Yi for her outstanding academic progress in English as a second language, exemplary leadership and thinking and speaking critically. In year 10, Angel Liu Ai Tong. She was top achiever in additional mathematics, outstanding academic progress in English as a second language. She had exemplary leadership, her thinking and speaking critically also. In year 11, Vivian Ting So Fei, for her good academic progress in English as a second language and mathematics. Also in year 11, Tan Enoch, for his good academic progress in English as a second language, mathematics, and combined science. Again in year 11, Melanie Chu Yu Jing, for her good academic progress in combined science, accounting, and business studies. These are the members of the board of directors of the Interact Club for the school year 2020-2021. President Fong Jing Yi. Vice President Tan Yi Hood. Mm -hmm. 
Lee Hershey, Secretary. The Vice Secretary, Angel Liu Ai Tong. Treasurer, Tan Enoch. Vice Treasurer, Vivian Ting So Fei. Activity Director, Zachary Mark Gillick. Activity Director, Amelia Pang. Fundraising, Shahira Binti Muhammad Ali. Fundraising, Siti Shahira Binti Maslan. Publicity, Lee Tyson. Publicity, Shim Ko Yin. Community Service, Melanie Chu Yu Jing. Community Service, Marvin Salazar. Year 11, Graduates. Shim Ko Yin. An Ino Vivian Ting Sufi and Melanie Chu Yuji. Good evening everyone, I'm Shim from Year 11 Commerce. I joined the Caris family in 2018 and time flew by by a blink of an eye. It was a pleasure to meet all of the students here in Caris. Let me share with you this. Graduation is not the end, it's just the beginning of a beautiful life that lies ahead of you. The most unforgettable memories while I'm in Caris are definitely the trips that were organized by the school. For example, trips to KL, hiking trips, and a day to St. Bona. I would also like to thank the principal, Dr. Debra Sim, and my home teacher, Ms. Sakina, and all of the other teachers who taught me throughout my secondary years. Besides, I would also love to thank my parents for letting me study in this amazing school. I would also like to thank my beloved classmates, Vivian, Melanie, and Enoch, for the wonderful memories which we have created throughout the school years. For example, studying together as a group for checkpoint and IGCIC exams. I hope we can stay in touch despite going our separate ways. Happy graduation, my classmates. Here's a short message to the Caris juniors. Study smart, not hard. Believe and trust yourself you can do it. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Enoch from Year 11. I feel blessed to have studied at this wonderful school and I learned a lot from it during the past four years. And I also created some unforgettable memories with my friends and teachers. We went to a lot of places and learned a lot of things, which I would love to experience it again. Congratulations to my classmates for completing their O-levels and I hope we will keep in touch for the many years to come. Thank you. 
Good evening, principal, teachers, friends, family, and my graduating classmate. My name is Melanie Chu from Year 11. It is a great honor to be here, and I would like to thank our school and teachers for always making sure that we will prepare for the next step and refusing to let us fall through the cracks. It's time to say goodbye because our school years has come to an end. I've made lots of lovely memories and more friends here in Caris. I really appreciate the time, although it was only one year. Now it's time to set new goals for our future by starting to explore new things. That's all from me. Once again, good evening and congratulations. Good evening everyone. My name is Vivian and I'm a graduating student of this year 11. It is an honor to speak before all of you. First of all, I would like to congratulate my classmates for finally graduating. I am proud of all four of us. I want to thank all of my teachers who have taught me for the last seven years. I also want to thank my parents for taking me to this school. I was very happy to learn here for seven wonderful years. I will miss all of my friends in Caris. Good luck to all the juniors and thank you.
Good evening. Uh, before I close this uh, ceremony with uh, the benediction, I would like to congratulate Dr. Deborah Sim, all the staff members and the students of Caris International for the success of this virtual graduation ceremony. And uh, we look forward to an exciting new academic year after your break. So let's just receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Okay, good night. God bless. Congratulations again, graduates. Now before we leave, we would like to thank everyone for gracing us with your presence on this momentous occasion. Thank you to all the parents, guardians, friends, relatives and students who join us in our virtual closing ceremony. We may be far apart, but we are in this together. Our graduation ceremony has now come to an end. We hope you had a wonderful evening and have a good night. May, may God, God bless, bless us all. all.